Welcome to our Pentecostal Sunday, Holy Communion and Worship Service. Myron Coleman will be the officer of the day. We will begin with the announcements by Dinah Johnson, followed by our lay president, Sister Paula Rudd, with our lay, lay moments for the month of June. Now, let us prepare our hearts, mind, and body for worship. In the name of Jesus, our Lord and Savior, amen. Good morning, saints of St. Paul Amy Church. Welcome to our in-person hybrid worship service streamed live to Facebook and YouTube. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel and Facebook page. You can access it from our website. Just click on the YouTube and Facebook, Facebook icons. Please adhere to the following church announcements. For those joining us in our Zoom room, please keep your devices muted so that all participants can enjoy the worship service. All meetings and activities are on Zoom unless otherwise noted. Information can be found on our internal church website at spame.org or in our Breeze system. If you have not created your login on our church website, please do so. Just go to spame.org, select login, and select don't have an account to create your account. Please email all announcements to news at spame.org by Wednesday of each week. Here are our weekly activities. The Gospel Seated Exercise meets every Monday and Thursday at 11 a.m. All are welcome to join us. Please contact Sister Janice Floyd to register. Noonday Bible Study every Tuesday at noon, Exhorter Doris Coffee Women's Ministry. The Daughters of Miriam will meet at 5 p.m. Tuesday, Sister Letitia Coleman, Director. The pastor's weekly Bible study is every Wednesday at 12 p.m. and again at 6 p.m. The church school adult class is every Sunday at 9.30 a.m. Sister Dinah Johnson, Christian Education Director. These are the upcoming board meetings. Stewart board meeting Monday, June 13th at 6 p.m. Trustee board meeting Monday, June 13th at 7 p.m. The official board meeting is Monday, June 20th at 6 p.m. The Commission on Stewardship and Finance will meet on Saturday, June 18th at 12 noon. These are other announcements. The Presiding Elders Church School Convention will be held on Zoom June 7th through the 9th. Zoom information will be provided by the elder. The 13th Episcopal District Monthly First Sunday Praise and Worship Service will be today at 4 p.m. Bishop E. Ann Henning Byfield. The Learning Academy and Bible Bowl will be held July 14th through July 16th in Bowling Green, Kentucky. Registration is now open Please see Sister Diana, our Christian Education Director, for more information. Good morning, Historic St. Paul Amity Church family. The Ross Greenfield Missionary Society, along with the Commission on Missions and Health, would like to provide you with bi-weekly vegetable bags. Starting June the 18th through November the 5th, Vegetable bags will have five to six items and will be available for purchase bi-weekly. There will only be 10 bags available bi-weekly. The cost per bag is $12. The bags will be available for pickup at the church on Saturday morning. Some of the possible vegetables will be carrots, tomatoes, green, green beans, onions, garlic, potatoes, cherry tomatoes, cucumbers, yellow squash, spinach, and other items. We look forward to you participating in this partnership 
and providing fresh vegetables to your family for the summer. St. Paul Women's Ministry would like to invite you to our Zooming and Blooming for Christ every fourth Monday at 7 p.m. Come join us. We talk about Bible facts. We have inspirational sharing. We talk. Come and join us for our Zooming and Blooming on every fourth Monday at 7 p.m. This concludes. We will now turn the worship service over to our pastor, the Reverend Robert A. Strode. Are there no lay moments? Please remember our sick and our shut-in, Sister Lizzie Connor, Sister Carolyn Jackson, Reverend Barry Frazier, who's online, um, Sister Marjorie Johnson, Sister Marjorie Potter, Sister Brenda Wilhite, who's at church this morning, God bless you, and Sister Joanne White. Let us lift them up in prayer. glad when they said unto me let us go into the house of the Lord our feet shall stand within thy gates O Jerusalem I'd rather be a doorkeeper in the house of my God than to dwell in the tents of the wicked because of the house of the Lord our God I will seek thou good Those that be planted in the house of the Lord shall flourish in the courts of thy God bless it are they that dwell in thy house? Lord, I have loved the habitation, the place where thy honor dwelleth. Let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in thy sight, O Lord, my strength and my redeemer. O oh, sing unto the Lord a new song. For he has done marvelous things. Make a joyful noise unto the Lord, all he earth, and sing his praise. And let us do so by singing, standing on the promises, and you may be seated.
Almighty God, Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, maker of all things, judge of all men, we acknowledge and bewail our manifold sins and wickedness which we have from time to time most grievously have committed by thought, word, and deed against your divine majesty, provoking most justly your wrath and indignation against us. We do earnestly repent and are heartily sorry for these our misdoings. The remembrance of them is grievous unto us. Have mercy upon us. Have mercy upon us. Most merciful Father, for our Lord and Son, Jesus Christ's sake, forgive us all that is past and grant that we may ever hereafter serve and please you in the newness of life for the honor and glory of your name through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Almighty God, our Heavenly Father, whom of thy great mercy has promised forgiveness of sins to all of them with hearty repentance and true faith, turn unto you. Have mercy upon us pardon and deliver us from all of our sins, confirm and strengthen us in all goodness, and bring us to everlasting life through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Almighty God, unto whom all hearts are open, all desires known, and for whom no secrets are hid, cleanse the thoughts of our hearts by the inspiration of your Holy Spirit, that we may perfectly love you and worthily magnify your holy name. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, amen. It is very meet and right and our bounden duties that we should in all times and in all places give thanks unto you, O Lord, Holy Father, almighty, everlasting God. Therefore, with angels and with archangels, with all the company of heaven, we laud and magnify thy holy name, evermore praising you and saying, Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Glory be to you, O Lord, most high. Amen. We do not presume to come to this, your table, O oh, merciful Lord, trusting in our own righteousness, but in your manifold and great mercies. We are not worthy so much as to gather the crumbs under your table, but you are the same Lord whose property is always to have mercy. Grant us therefore, precious Lord, so to eat the flesh of your dear Son, Jesus Christ, and to drink his blood that our sinful souls and bodies may be made clean by his death and washed through his blood, and that we may more forevermore dwell in him and he in us. Amen.
Amen. Before we go into the scripture reading, we want to acknowledge that today we are Pentecost Sunday as the worship leader uh, led us today. But also we are recognizing gun violence today. And many of our in-person worshipers are wearing orange ribbons to um, bring consciousness and awareness of the gun violence in America and more specifically here in Lexington. So let us continue in prayer for our families as they're being ridiculed uh, by the evil that exists with gun violence. Scripture readings. reading from Genesis chapter 11 verses uh, 1 through 9. Now the whole earth had one language and the same words and as they migrated from the east they came upon a plain in the land of Shinar and settled there and they said to one another come let us make bricks and burn them thoroughly and they had brick for stone and bitumen for mortar. Then they said, come let us build ourselves a city and a tower with its tops in the heavens and let us make a name for ourselves. Otherwise we shall be scattered abroad upon the face of the whole earth. The Lord came down to see the city and the tower which mortars, mortals had built. And the Lord said, look, they are one people and they have all one language, and this is only the beginning of what they will do. Nothing that they propose to do will now be impossible for them. Come, let us go down and confuse their language there, so that they will not understand one another's speech. So the Lord scattered them abroad from there over the face of all the earth, and they left off, the bu off building the city. Therefore it was called Babel, because there the Lord confused the language of all the earth, and from there the Lord scattered them abroad over the face of all the earth, the word of God for the people of God. Our epistle reading, uh, Sister Strode is not feeling well today, uh, so if you would show the scripture, I'll go ahead and read it. Uh, for those who are led by the Spirit of God are the children of God. The Spirit you receive does not make you slaves so that you live in fear again. Rather, the Spirit you receive brought about your adoption to sonship. And by him we cry, Abba, Father. The Spirit himself testified with our spirit that we are God's children. Now, if we are children, then we are heirs, heirs of God and co-heirs with Christ. If indeed we share in his sufferings in order that we may also share in his glory. We read in the Gospel of John, 14th chapter, 8th through the 17th verse. Philip said, Lord, show us the Father, and that will be enough for us. Jesus answered, Don't you know me, Philip, even after I have been among you such a long time? Anyone who has seen me has seen the Father. How can you say, show us the Father? Don't you believe that I am in the Father and that the Father is in me? The words I say to you, I do not speak on my own authority. Rather, it is the Father living in me who is doing his work. Believe me when I say that I am in the Father and the Father is in me. 
or at least believe on the evidence of the works themselves. Very truly I tell you, whoever believes in me will do the works I have been doing, and they will do even greater things than these, because I am going to the Father. And I will do whatever you ask in my name, so that the Father may be glorified in the Son. You may ask me for anything in my name, and I will do it. If you love me, keep my commandments. And I will ask the Father, and he will give you another advocate to help you and be with you forever. The Spirit of truth, the world cannot accept him, because it neither sees him nor knows him. But you know him, for he lives with you and will be in you. The summary of the Decalogue. And he said unto them, You should love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your mind. This is the first and great commandment. And the second is like unto it. You should love your neighbor as yourself. On these two commandments hang all the law and the prophet. The gory Patrick. has come the time in our worship service where we can take an active part of worship through the expression of giving. Your opportunity to give can be accommodated by the following actions. Check our credit card by phone by calling the church at 859-255-7945 Please leave a message with your name and number, and someone from the finance team will return your call. Text by giving. Using your mobile phone, you can text 859-209-6003 and follow their instructions. Church website, spain.org. Select Donate. If you have set up your account on Breeze, then you can give through Breeze. The link is on the church website. We appreciate your giving. Thank you. All things come of thee, O Lord.
Amen. Amen. Let the church say amen. Let us pray. Uh, Father God, speak through your preacher that the people might hear. For when you speak, souls are saved. When you speak, those of us who are saved are deepened in the faith. And God, we will always be careful to give you the praise in Jesus' name. Amen. Will you help me honor God? Come on, let's give him some praise. Because he's worthy. Woke you up this morning. You ought to say thank you. You ought to praise him because he's worthy. Amen. 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 We want to say God bless all of you who are worshiping with us in person, on Facebook, on YouTube, as well as Zoom. God is so good to us on this uh, Pentecost Sunday. This is the beginning of Pentecost. I want to look for a few moments, um, and we want to honor our First Lady, who's not feeling well today. We want you to uh, lift her up in prayer uh, to our ministerial staff, and we can thank God for you, uh, the officers and members of St. Paul, and all of you who are uh, viewing on Zoom, Facebook, and YouTube. We thank God for your presence. In the Acts of the Apostles, the second chapter, which is a part of the lectionary, uh, I want to look at uh, that particular scripture that deals with uh, when the day of Pentecost had come, they were all together in one place. And suddenly from heaven there came a sound like the rush of a violent wind. And it filled the entire house where they were sitting. Divided tongues as of fire appeared among and a tongue rested on each of them. All of them were filled with the Holy Spirit and began to speak in other languages as the Spirit gave them the ability. Now there were devout Jews from every nation under heaven living in Jerusalem. And at this sound the crowd gathered and was bewildered because each one heard them speaking in the native language of, of each. Amazed and astonished they asked are not all these who are speaking Galileans? And how is it that we hear each of us in our own native language? I want to talk for a few moments on this subject. Are you filled with the Holy Spirit? Are you filled with the Holy Spirit? Now, there are different uh, uh, combinations that people use to determine whether uh, they are filled with the Holy Spirit. One who is filled with the Holy Spirit does not have to ask the question, am I filled with the Holy Spirit? Because it becomes evident when one has been in contact with God and has asked God to fill them, God always fills those who ask to be filled with the Holy Spirit. The Old Testament reading you heard, Exodus Coffee, read about how Babel, Babel began because the people were so smart that they thought that they could reach heaven and be like God. And God allowed them to be confused and created languages of different sort so they could not communicate with each other and take over God. But now in the New Testament, we see where God reverses it and, and, and allows people's languages to be understood about who God is. In the, in the Acts of the Apostles, 
we discover that Jesus had now resurrected and Pentecost represents 50 days after Jesus' resurrection. So on the day of Pentecost, the birth of the church takes place. In, in, in Pentecost, one sees how the church becomes the church. The church becomes the church because now the church is empowered with the Holy Spirit. <clears throat> when you are filled with the Holy Spirit, it shows up in how you treat one another. What do you mean, Pastor? When you're filled <coughs> with the Holy Spirit, you become sensitive to the hearts of others. When you're filled with the Holy Spirit, the Lord uses you to know how to minister to those who are hurting. <coughs> when you are filled with the Holy Spirit, the Bible says that it will lead you and guide you into all truth. You don't have to second guess when you're filled with the Holy Spirit. <clears throat> In the Acts of the Apostles, it helps us to see that the church was empowered because they were filled with the Holy Spirit. So when the pastor raised the question, are you filled with the Holy Spirit? You ought to ask yourself, what am I doing to enhance the kingdom of God? What am I doing to enhance what it is to be a Christian? So when I've been filled with the Spirit, people will see it. They won't have to question whether or not you're filled with the Spirit because it shows up in your relationship with one another. The second thing I want to say about being filled with the Spirit is that it gives you a hunger for the Word. How you going to be filled with the Spirit and you don't read your Bible? It's hard to walk with God without knowing His Word. Study to show thyself approved unto God. A work person that needed not be ashamed but rightly dividing the word of truth. So if I'm asking myself, am I filled with the Holy Spirit? Then I got to ask myself, am I spending time in the word to improve my walk with him? The more I know, the better I become and equip myself to deal with gun violence, to deal with what's happening <coughs> in our society. I don't know about you, but even though you might be filled with the spirit, there's the human part that comes in that sometimes try to keep you from doing what God wants you to do. But let me tell you, don't stop doing because the more you do for Christ, the better it will be. <clears throat> now the last point that I hope you hear from this message today is that the apostles did not stop sharing the good news of Christ. And the Bible says 
that the church grew. You know why our churches don't grow? Because we're too busy talking about everything other than Christ. When we start lifting up Christ, watch the church grow. When we start lifting up Christ, watch people start flocking into the body of Christ. Because the early church grew. Because they told the story about Jesus. Can you tell the story about Jesus? Can you tell somebody what he means to you? I don't know what you've gone through, but you do. And you ought to tell it in a way that somebody can see that you are walking with the Lord. Not telling it to get accolades, but telling it because it's real. When I woke up this morning, it wasn't me that woke me up. His name is Jesus. When I got up this morning, I know that it was Jesus that woke me up. Tell somebody that may not believe in Jesus, let them know that you do. And because of Jesus, I live, move, and have my being. Well, gun violence is on the rampage in America. And we're trying to come up with legislation and the kinds of things that can remedy gun violence. But I suggest to you parents, until you begin to deal with your children about who Jesus is, you're going to continue to have gun violence. We got a segment of society that's never been in the church. Don't ever plan to be in the church. But if you began to talk Jesus, watch what will happen. When you began to live Jesus, watch what would happen. They may call you uh, old something. They may call you something. But don't you worry about it. Just remember, only what you do for Christ will last. So, on the day of Pentecost, they were in one accord, and the Spirit came in like a mighty rushing wind, and it filled the house. And the preacher asked you the question, are you filled with the Holy Spirit? And if so, how are you expressing that feeling to others? And now, at the close of this message, we're going to eat his body, we're going to drink of his cup, because he said, do this in remembrance of me. So if I remember Jesus, then I got to be able to tell somebody what he means to me. He died on Calvary and shed his blood. And in the shedding of his blood washes me and cleanses me of all of my sin. So that's my testimony. I live because of Jesus. And I have my being because of Jesus. And because Jesus lives, I live. There may be someone here today. You've heard the message. And before we extend the invitation, let us pray as he taught his disciples to pray and think about the message today and whether or not Christ has come into your heart.
if you've heard the message today and God has entered your heart, we invite you to come and give your life to the Lord Jesus Christ. If you're on Zoom, Facebook, and YouTube, and you want to acknowledge that Christ has come into your life, place in the chat or somewhere uh, where we can get back with you and share with you how you can get closer to God. Or you may call the church at 859-255-7945, and we will get back with you. The invitation is now extended to you. I believe that the church has to open its arms for those who want to become a part. Let the church say amen. Let the church say hallelujah. Um, we are blessed to have uh, an AME who has come to move to, to Lexington, and she wants to become a part of Historic St. Paul. But I'm going to let her share with you why she's here. Amen. Good morning, saints. Good morning. I am Donzella Prather. I'm formerly a member of Bethel AME Church, Malvern, Arkansas. This is not my first rodeo show at this church. <laughs> Every time I come to Kentucky, I come to this church. But now I'm permanently moved. Amen. Bless the Lord. Bless the saints. Bless everybody who helped me get moved. All your prayers and things that you gave me. And it is such a wonderful thing to be in the house of the Lord because today, this morning, when, I, when, Reverend, when Reverend said that he got him up this morning, I know exactly what he's talking about because time my foot, before my foot hit the ground, I always say, thank you, Jesus. But then send your army because I was in a spiritual warfare this morning. And I'm going to tell you, he tried his best. I couldn't get my shoes on, so I got my sneakers on. I say, you're not stopping me because my feet are headed to uh, St. Paul this morning. Amen. 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 Let the church say amen. Let's, let's distance ourselves and let's share with our, just touch her and let her know we're glad to have you. Will you come? All right. Just touch that. Amen. We're glad to have you. All right. God bless you. And we will get all the information and you'll be a part of our membership. All right, God bless you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Did y'all get that information? Yes. Uh, Sister Young, did you get that information? Thank you. Sister Young will make sure we have that information. Let us prepare for Holy Communion.
can wash. Ye that do truly and earnestly repent of your sins and are in love and charity with your neighbor and intend to lead a new life following the commandments of God and walking from henceforth into this holy way, draw near with faith and take this holy sacrament to your comfort and make your humble confession to Almighty God. And the way we do communion during, the, during this crisis is that we will not stand at the altar We'll, we will not bow at the altar. We'll come one at a time, and I'll place the communion in your hand, and then you will go. And that way you will not be uh, uh, compromising uh, the distance between each other, okay? All right. Almighty God, our Heavenly Father, who of thy tender mercy did give thine only Son, Jesus Christ, to suffer death on the cross for our redemption, who may thereby his oblation of himself once offered a full, perfect, and sufficient sacrifice, oblation and satisfaction for the sins of the whole world, and did institute and in his holy gospel command us to continue perpetual memory of that is precious death until it's coming again. Hear us, O merciful Father, we most humbly beseech thee and grant that we receive in these thy creatures of bread and wine according to thy son, Savior Jesus Christ's holy institute in remembrance of his death and passion may be partakers of his most blessed body and blood who in the same night that he was betrayed, took bread, and when he had given thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, take, eat, this is my body which was broken for you, this do in remembrance of me. Likewise, after supper, he took the cup, and when he had given thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Drink you all of this, for this is the blood of the New Testament, which was shed for you and for many for the remissions of sin, as often as you shall drink it in remembrance of me. Having renewed my covenant with Almighty God, I now rise and I go in peace, and I take the peace of God with me.
and the burdens of my heart. And the burdens of my heart. Let us pray as he taught his disciples to pray. Our Father.
but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever. Amen. O Lord, our Heavenly Father, we, thy humble servants, desire thy fatherly goodness, mercifully to accept us our sacrifice of praise and thanksgiving. Most humbly beseeching thee to grant that by the merits and death of our Son, Jesus Christ, and through faith in his blood, we and thy whole church may obtain remission of our sins and all other benefits of his passion. And here we offer and present unto thee, O Lord, ourselves, our souls, and bodies, to be a reasonable, holy, and lively sacrifice unto thee. Humbly beseeching thee that all we who are partakers of this holy communion may be filled with thy grace and heavenly benediction. And although we be unworthy through our manifold sins to offer unto thee any sacrifice, yet we beseech thee to accept this our bounded duty and service, not weighing our merits, but pardoning our offenses. Through Christ our Lord, by whom and with whom in the unity of the Holy Ghost, all honor and glory be to thee, O Father, almighty world without end. And the people said, Amen. Glory be to God on high on earth, peace, goodwill towards men. We praise thee, we bless thee, we glorify thee, we give thanks unto thee for thy great glory. O Lord God, heavenly King, God the Father almighty. O Lord, the only begotten Son, Jesus Christ, O Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, that taketh away the sins of the world, have mercy upon us. Thou that taketh away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. Thou that sitteth at the right hand of God the Father, have mercy on us. Thou only art holy. Thou only art the Lord. Thou only, O Christ, with the Holy Ghost, our most high in the glory of God the Father. And the people said, the peace of God which passes all understanding, keep your hearts and minds in the knowledge and love of God and of his Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord, and the blessings of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost be among you and remain with you always. And the people of God said, and you know after you have communed with the Lord, it's time to fellowship. If we had a live choir, they'd be singing right now, Sister Connie. <laughs> Go ahead. The Lord bless you. The Lord bless you. The Lord keep you. May the Lord cover you with his protection as you go out and when you come back in. God be with you until we meet again. God bless you. Is the Zoom room still on? We're glad to have all of you worshiping with us on Zoom and Facebook and YouTube.